more Azraq BIOS issues, y'all. And it looks like the saga continues with these issues and their so-called fixes not working. Let's get into this. Hi, everyone's by Lot Tech Bagging with some more tech news. Hope you have an awesome day. Now, I came across an article that was kind of disturbing as far as a company as large as ASRock still not fixing an ongoing issue with their motherboards frying X3D SKUs. And I saw a couple of mentions of the regular non-X3D non SKUs at like the 8-core and the 6-core that some people had those get fried as well on ASRock motherboards. So they've been handling this. This has been going on for months. This should, there's no excuse that a company this big should not have a permanent fix already instead of called band-aids. Now, the issue continues, and even with this article I see on Tech Power Up, mentioned that article claimed that Azar released a 3.4 BIOS version that's supposed to fix the burning issues, but yet just the other day, I was going on the Reddit and some other forums, and people are still having the same issue, even with the new BIOS update. So either someone at QC is not doing the job for the Azure motherboards that have been coming in the last couple of months or just they just stopped caring. It's kind of a shame that such a solid company is coming to coming to, like falling to from grace because they were always the buying for your butt kind of motherboards. And now they're getting popular. I guess they got complacent because there's no way they should have this issue still ongoing. But people spend all their hard earned money on these X3D really SKUs or regular SKUs in general. It's still a couple of hundred dollars each. So I've been saying they need to get their act together and it looks like no one, <laughs> they're not listening because they keep releasing these little so-called fixes, but it's still either they're causing more or more new issues and fixing the old one that they're still trying to fix. So I'm going to take this article from Tech Power Up with a grain of salt that 3.40 is supposed to be working or fixing the burning issue. And until I see hard evidence in the forums I've seen all over the internet, that they've got their shit together for their motherboards burning hundreds of dollar cost CPUs, we should unfortunately stay away from ASRock because they should be either need to fire the QC people or get or take the thing more seriously because when they brought it up at the last, I think it was Computex or the the, the event at the beginning of this year, I can't remember his exact name. Um, but they were just kind of like brushed it off when they got interviewed and talked about it. They give some like one word generic response. Oh, we got it fixed. But yet here we are months later and the issue is still there. And people spend all this money, getting armies, after spend all this hundreds of dollars on CPUs and motherboard combos, but ready to start a toasting new rig when they're happy that they've been waiting and saving for months or maybe a year. And then all their money goes on drain because they got to keep going through the RMA crap. And RMA is fine, but there's only so much someone can take of failures and they need to get behind this. So I am not really believing this article on Tech Power Up. The, the, until I see hard evidence, like most of you should, you shouldn't, you shouldn't take this, any article you say serious or any 3.1 of a version and really seriously until they actually come publicly and say, hey, we did this, we see the issue, this is update that we tested and guaranteed that it's fixed the burning issue for the X3D SKUs. Until they come out and say that stop being dodgy, I will stay away from that manufacturer as rock from their motherboards. So I don't I I, I do I don't know about you, but if I spend all this money on a whole system, I'm not gonna want to have constantly defective products and one of the more expensive part of the motherboard build is the CPU. So why why am I missing money just for something to burn and the actual company that has the thing that's causing the issues, not taking it seriously. Are you gonna wait till a million people have the issue as rock? Y'all need to get yourself in check and get this thing started with ASAP unless you're gonna get, get put on a blacklist for anyone going forward for the years to come if they're looking to build a new system or upgrade. Now, enough of that rant. Y'all let me know if you were on the unlucky uh, many that had this issue with Azure motherboard in the last couple of months or last year with your beautiful x 3 really CPU getting burned or worst case scenario just going, going to hell. Let me know in the comments below. And if you, how was the RMA process? Are you still having issues with all their different iterations of their BIOS updates? Let me know in the comments below. Until then, this is Boy Lock Tech signing out.